I think WIG is just a, a really uh, good way of connecting organisations across both the public and private sector. I think obviously I'm a big fan of the development programmes because I've enjoyed participating in them. I think a lot of the structured events are really, really good, high quality. I've enjoyed both attending but also occasionally having the opportunity to talk to colleagues in the public and private sector about issues that I was leading on and of course the networking is invaluable. WIG is like a convener. It, 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 it has events, it has courses, it has fora, it brings people together to talk about these things together. And I think that you know every one of those events that I've been to and I've had the chance to speak at them as well as come along as a, a regular delegate, people have uh, come away with new information and knowledge but also importantly contacts. Uh, they say that actually rubbing shoulders with people from the private sector and from the third sector. They've learned a lot from that. They've established a kind of relationships there, networks in some cases, which has lasted for years, not just for the weeks they're doing the course. I think WIG is actually at the heart of it. I mean, it's one of the reasons why I became chair is because I passionately believe in the purpose and the vision of WIG, which is to try and connect the sectors. And by having people speak to each other, creating the right kind of meetings, the right kind of dialogues, um, allowing people to work in the public sector and the private sector through secondments. You know, these are all the things that WIG does and it's at the epicentre of trying to get this cross-fertilisation between public and private sector. I think WIG's a great institution. If we didn't have it, we'd have to create it. But now that we've got it, we just need to celebrate it and take it from strength to strength.